uh, from our homes, our offices, factories, and combat. The robots are here already. The question is, what are we doing with them, and what are they going to do with us? And what's the difference between a, a robot, as we typically think of it, and a, a self-driving car that can talk to us? Uh, this was a fun book to read. I actually got to say, Danger, Will Robinson, and that never happens in an audiobook. Uh, but um, there were some challenges along the way. Okay, it's morning, and for whatever reason, this morning, I have a lot of bass in my voice. Um, but I can't use it, because first of all, it's not appropriate for this book. This isn't a book about killer robots from space. It's about robots. And also, I didn't have it yesterday. And the important thing is that while you're listening, I sound the same from one day to the next. So some days I have to deliberately pitch my voice up a little bit, and other days I have to push it down so that whatever happens, each chapter sounds as much like the one before it as possible, so that you enjoy the flow of the book as it's meant to be enjoyed, without the sound of me distracting you. A second MIT spin-out company, substantially older than iRobot, Foster Miller, also makes tracked combat UGBs, now under the name Quinetti Q. Quinet. Kinetic Morven is the perfect alternative. I guess totally wrong, but I found that out in less than a minute thanks to YouTube, which, by the way, is a really good resource for names and uh, companies and that sort of thing. And now I can fix it and move on. And the development of nuclear weapons. Before the next wave of change redefines work, caregiving, and warfare, even seeing and walking, it's time we have some straight talk about who we are relative to these machines and what we expect from our transactions with them. And that's the end. I wish there were more of this book, but uh, I really enjoyed reading it. This has been Robots. Hope you enjoy the book, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.